Do you remember this show? It was the big thing on radio and TV from 1935 to 1955. That was the same era when the electric solid body guitar was born. Prior to this, the only guitars were acoustic guitars or Hawaiian steel guitars. These instruments were the first to rely on the amplification of their sound electrically, not just acoustically. A lot of TV shows have come and gone, but the electric guitar has remained relatively unchanged since then. Time for a little history lesson. The development of the electric solid body guitar began in 1931. Adolf Rickenbacker, George Beauchamp, and Paul Barth produced the first electric guitar nicknamed the Frying Pan due to his obvious resemblance to its namesake. In 1941, Les Paul built his historic log guitar, unbelievably taking a solid 4x4 fence post and combining it with a bridge guitar and neck pickup in the body of a hollow body guitar. In 1947, Paul Bigsby designed the Bigsby tremolo arm, which he used on a solid body guitar that he and Merle Travis built. In 1948, Leo Fender invented the first solid body electric guitar to be mass produced, the Fender Broadcaster. In 1954, Fender introduced the Stratocaster, featuring a contoured double cutaway body, three single coil pickups, and a tremolo. And since then, nothing. Ray Gander, part artistic designer, part master luthier, and part fed up with conventional thinking, went back to the original designs to rethink the concept of what made a really great guitar. His design introduced two revolutionary concepts, the carbon fiber reinforcement beam, which eliminated the need for a truss rod, and the patented Gander Springless Tremolo. Welcome to the Gander Revolution, the next generation of solid body electric guitars. <laughs>